Gabby again from Endress Analytics and this week's tutorial is going to be on Adobe Analytics and how to implement uh, in WordPress. Um, this is um, going to be a very high level tutorial. I'm not going to go into how to do any of the fancy um, JavaScript or anything like that with variables and that kind of thing. Just a very high level, get the data um, running from uh, your WordPress site uh, into Site Catalyst. So, very beginning, uh, from within Site Catalyst, the first thing you'll want to do, um, if you haven't already, you may or may not have this implemented on your on your main website, but perhaps you have a WordPress blog that you want to implement it on, that kind of thing. So you want to go into Admin, Admin Tools, into the Admin Tools Home, and go to your Code Manager. This is where you will get your code. And if you're familiar with um, the various code bases, you can either use the new app measurement or you can use the uh, legacy JavaScript. I personally still use um, the S code, uh, the H.26.2 uh, uh, code. Um, I think it's uh, more robust and more stable. It's, um, it's obviously a little older than the new app measurement. Um, app measurement you can see is still in like version 1.2.4, so it's still fairly new. Um, eventually, I think they're going to completely um, get rid of support for the uh, the legacy version, but um, that's still a few years away probably. So I personally recommend H.26.2 unless you're already using app measurement for your uh, for any other of your web properties, and 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 if you're familiar with using app measurement, so you know feel free to go and use that. But I actually have not used it yet, so I will use legacy. Um, so basically you click on the link and you download the zip file um, and it includes a number of files um, which we'll see in a moment. I'm not going to go ahead and save the, the zip file right now but that's basically how you get to the code itself. And then um, I'm going to go and go ahead and go into Dreamweaver because I can actually show you some of this code. So um, within the code uh, you have uh, an S code file um, and this is uh, the main file that has to live on your server and uh, without it nothing is going to work and uh, this file I personally if you can look over to the far right um, I have it under my uh, scripts folder and I have the S code in here and it has some very important um, pieces that you have to make sure that are, are matched with your account um, so like your account name uh, in here um, and then I've got some uh, other variables and things. Like I said, I'm not going to go into, into very much detail. But um, the account has to match. And as I scroll past all of this stuff down here, we have a visitor namespace and tracking server. And these things have to match with your company's account in order for it to get sent into your um, employee your current uh, Adobe Analytics implementation. So those are the important pieces. And then of course, obviously it needs to go up to your server. And uh, with WordPress, this is one of the things where you can't actually do this from WordPress itself. You actually have to go through the back end. And all of my sites have WordPress in them. Um, and you can see here, I've got, I've got a whole lot of different websites in here, so ignore all that. But um, it's very important that, um, uh, that you Find a, create a folder uh, and put your script in there and then uh, you'll get to reference it. And then there's two ways you can do this. Um, you can either continue using whatever code editor you have in an um, FTP file um, manager that you have to upload your files um, from, uh, from there to get it up there. But you can also do the next step from within um, WordPress itself. So I wanted to kind of go through both pieces. So from within WordPress, um, if you want to edit and add um, the, the code that is required in all the pages, so you've got the piece of script that's living on the server, but now you need to have one other piece that lives in all the pages. Um, and that, uh, we go under Appearance Editor, and um, this code uh, generally will live under um, uh, right above the uh, the closed body tag on your web pages. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the footer.php uh, file in here. All right, and I'm going to scroll to the bottom, and you will see here is my uh, my code. So this is my page code, and uh, right now, I mean, obviously, every, 
pretty much everything in here is fairly required. And then here is where some of the variables will go. Um, so for example, here I'm capturing a page name with dot document.title. Um, I'm capturing the S channel with uh, with window.location.path name, which I know is probably not the best way to capture um, site, sec uh, site sections, because uh, this is what actually uh, populates a site section report. Uh, but it, it does fine for what I needed to do. Um, and then here I have um, sprop2, which is document.refer, and I'll show you in a moment what that populates. Um, but this is where you would go in and uh, set up any of your sprops, uh, your, which are your traffic variables or your evars, your conversion variables, your custom events, etc. Anything that can run from the page level can be set up in here. Um, and this is assuming, of course, that you're not already using the digital tag manager or some other tag management tool, in which case all you have to do is just plunk this code in here, uh, plunk in your tag manager code and then do everything from tag manager. Uh, which I know is generally the way to go. But at any rate, you still need um, the base uh, code of uh, Site Catalyst or the Tag Manager code. Uh, either In either case, you need one of those running on your pages. And typically, you put them either in your header or footer. If you're using Dynamic Tag Manager, I know that you, the, there's a piece that goes in the footer and another piece that goes in the header. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so um, just because people are, I know are going to ask, like, what what is my document doc refer? What is my sprop sheet? So I'm going to go ahead and just pull it back in here, and we'll just take a quick look at that. And so that is my traffic, and uh, that's just basically previous page. So it's sort of irrelevant because there's already a previous page report. Um, what this actually shows. Uh, is it, it's actually a consolidation of um, all previous pages, but it doesn't really give you a reference point or anything. It just kind of populates all previous pages to whatever page and everything. So it's kind of an irrelevant report. I was just kind of playing around with the JavaScript. But anyway, I just wanted to show what it was I was trying to capture with that. But anyhow, that is the basics of what you need to know. And just real quick, if you are going to use um, a, a an editing tool and an FTP uh, tool to upload the code uh, into your WordPress instead of using the WordPress editor. Um, the footer itself, where it lives, is basically you have to go under uh, WordPress content, themes, find the theme that you're using, um, and then you scroll down until you find footer.php. And that's where this file is. And then you make the same thing where you, you copy and paste the script um, and make your edits and add uh, the bits and pieces that you want to uh, to it um, right here above the body tag or as I was saying if you're using tag manager you're going to have to do it in both um, the footer um, and the header files as well um, and, and put those pieces of code in there and then you can just do everything through that way but in any case um, these are the files that you have to touch in order to affect all pages um, all right, so if there are any questions uh, regarding um, this, uh, how to implement into WordPress, it's fairly straightforward. Like I said, this is real basic, real high level. This is just going to get you the, the basic out-of-the-box stuff. I wasn't going into any um, super detail into any custom variables right now. Uh, but please let me know if you have any questions um, in the comments below. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe uh, if, you, uh, if you enjoy my videos. And please share them uh, with other people who might be interested in these tutorials. And uh, until next time, take care.